Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. Today we're back working with the landscaping business. I've been here at the shop for the last hour getting everything ready to go, but last night guys we had a storm come through and we lost power. So I got my main camera charged up here just picking up the GoPro and the tripod. So we should have a few extra camera batteries to help us along the day. Today is a busy day here for a landscaping company. We have two trucks going out for a long care, right around 25 lawns uh, between the two steps, which is pretty neat here. Another one of our employees is taking the new bobcat. They're going to do a little bit of work here for one of the local farmers that needs to rework, kind of regrade, and uh, kind of do uh, some miscellaneous projects there. And today we are going to be going out. It's a very easy job. We're going to be spreading topsoil and then laying saw down a brand new house that was just built here since you guys know that we do have a contract with the builder. Like always guys there's a full mods list link down below and if you do end up enjoying today's video please hit the like button as it does help out with the YouTube algorithms. All the work trucks are in use today towing trailers so I think hey why don't we just use a GMC and we do the international at the job site here. One of our employees really just drives that truck around dropping off loads and picking up loads of material for us here which has come in pretty handy here and I think we have another employee coming in right around lunchtime that's going to be taking the Ford F800. We do a lot of work here we're definitely busy and that is a great problem to have. As fall approaches guys we're going to get a little bit busier and then we should slow down right as winter begins here which is pretty cool. I am already scheduling some projects for next season which is pretty exciting. Hopefully we could do those new projects over in FS22 which should be pretty cool here. We are getting so close guys. November 22nd the new farm sim comes out which is so exciting here but this should work no problem. Just making sure everything's good to go there. Yep and let's see what skid we're going to be taking. I'm thinking guys why don't we take the Bobcat T590. We actually haven't used this in quite some time. I've been just putting all my hours on the new Bobcat because hey when you get a new toy you always want to use it. But let's uh, get this thing fired on up here. I'm going to let it idle for a few minutes and I do also want to make sure everything is greased here on it. That way uh, we don't run into any problems. Just getting the Bobcat chain down, ready to go. We're only going a few miles down the road, but like always, guys, we do need to make sure it's secure so we don't end up losing it here. But this should be a lot of fun. I really do like doing Bobcat work. These are very popular machines. They are so handy, so many different options uh, to use them, and they are really maneuverable here as well. But if you guys haven't already, I highly recommend you guys go check out my website. I have a full mods list for not only the landscaping series, but every single video. Ha uh, you guys can find the mods to it and I am posting every single day over on Instagram. I have mentioned this a few times guys in previous videos but we actually have a contract with a local home builder. He builds like uh, four or five houses a month here so it's a pretty big contract. He has us do everything outside there. That's from grading, that's from the landscaping uh, to sod and everything in between. And he has given us a lot of work here. So when he asked me for this one, I thought hey this would be a great one to do. And I always try to uh, put him on the schedule as quickly as we can here. But he's actually building a house right next door which is pretty cool here and I just got to give him the bid for how much that one is going to take here but oh yeah that is the one right there he's building that and this one right next door he uh, just finished building as well. Our international is already here. Oh yeah, just giving our employee a thumbs up. He's always on time. He actually uh, came a little bit earlier today as well. And once he unloads this, I think he will be off to help out another one of our uh, uh, crews uh, here today. But it's so cool uh, to do uh, lots of landscaping jobs. Now I am thinking, guys, it would be awesome to get maybe a full game, uh, 16 people in multiplayer, and run uh, a full multiplayer landscaping crew. I think that would be a pretty neat thing here. But let's get this idled up here for a few more minutes I just like to get everything idle uh, get the oils warmed up before we just start to work it especially this that is sat around the shop for a few days here but here we have it guys so oh wow look at that looks like someone got stuck here with 
uh, tire tracks. So look at that, two big tire tracks going to house. Now I am seeing there's a little bit of ups and downs here, so we're gonna have to work on that. Yeah, there is a little bit over here. There's a little bit of rocks. What I'm thinking, guys, we should see if we can level the land first, and then it will bring in the topsoil. Uh, usually we call it black dirt because of just how good it is uh, for sod, but wow, this is gonna be a lot of work. Come along this side here. There looks to be a little bit of grass, which is good, but oh yeah, a lot of sod. Hey, maybe at lunchtime I'll see if we can get a few extra crews out here to help lay some sod. All right, let's get the engine revved on up here. Let's get on to work now. I did bring the bucket with teeth. I thought that was a pretty good idea, especially now seeing this, where there are a few areas that we are going to have to level on out. We definitely, uh, definitely want that here. Let's see, let's see if we can get this leveled. A little bit of back dragon, but the teeth, I will say, guys, uh, just come in so handy here. We are able uh, to just kind of use it, scrape a little bit of dirt off, and then we should be able to get this entire area leveled on out here. But let me know, guys, what types of videos would you like me to do? I really do like the landscaping and the homeowner series, but we have so many different series uh, from hot shot truck into the tree services, public works, everything. It is just so much fun to make these videos every single day here for you guys. But my summer is just about over, and I am going to be going back to school, so you guys will be seeing every single day up loads which uh, should be pretty cool and we'll be doing some uh, more videos on the xbox as well all right guys let's hop on now let's take a quick look here probably 45 minutes worth of work here with the skid you guys can see it's nice and level i want a nice even coat of topsoil we don't want ups and downs some areas to have six inches some areas to have one and that isn't going to be good for the grass because when it uh, dries out the grass with the more roots and the more topsoil is going to stay green a lot longer here so we are actually ready to go for topsoil let's have them back on in and get it unloaded and I think we'll probably just put it in the center here and then it, we'll use a skid and move it around. Wow, that was a full truck load of topsoil, right around 20 tons. That's going to be a lot of work here for this kid. But I think, hey, why don't we get started uh, from the back, work our way this way just in case we do want to get more. We really don't want to be driving the skid on it. That's going to compact it. We want it nice and loose uh, so that the seeds uh, can germinate and uh, root and have nice uh, sod here as well. But let's hop on in the Bobcat. This should be a lot of fun. Dirt work is always great, especially when you're using a machine like this here. There is going to be so so much work we're going to be doing here today, but I'm so excited to get it done. Oh man, guys, looks like we just broke this kid here. More than likely, that's going to be our left-hand side drive motor. I've had this happen about a year, year and a half ago, and that was a pretty pricey fix here. Right around 1500 to get this fixed now, and our job is not yet done here. You guys can see we probably did about half the side yard, and now we have a broken skid. So I'm going to really uh, quickly give our dealership a call here, uh, the local one for our machines, and see if they could take a look at it today. Maybe they have the part in stock, and we could be up and running. Alright guys, we're going to get the skid loaded onto the trailer. Looks like we're heading to the equipment dealer. They actually have a drive motor in stock here, but they said the mechanics are booked full today, so they aren't going to be able to look at it until tomorrow. So what I'm thinking, guys, let's go get this dropped off. Let's uh, go back to our shop. We'll get the cat, and I think that should work out quite well. 
This is going to take quite a bit of time, but we still should be able to get the job done here. And funny thing, guys, earlier this week, we actually broke a spindle on our walker mower. So it seems like towards the end of the summer, everything starts to break. And these are going to get pretty pricey here. So already, they we spent like six, $700 earlier uh, getting the walker fixed. And this skid alone is probably going to cost maybe $1,500 for the parts, maybe another five, six hundred in labor. So this is a pretty costly repair. But I don't think this was really anything we could do. Maybe it's uh, how we're turning uh, too sharp, maybe with the tracks. But let me know, guys, how would a drive motor break? Uh, it is kind of common, though, with some of these skids, especially when you're running them for hours on end here. But, hey, we got to keep it positive. We're going to go get, uh, get the cat machine, but let's get this dropped off quick. Our local John Deere dealership, which uh, sells Bobcats and many other brands that we do own, uh, it really takes good care of us here. Every time I call, they're just a phone call away here. Sometimes they've actually sent out mechanics to the job site, but it looks like they're all busy here today. And I definitely think they need a lot more than a few wrenches, especially to get the skid lifted and things like that here. But you guys can see even loading it on the trailer was a bit tricky. Without that motor, it really just always wants to kind of turn right. Oh, there we have it almost. Uh, turn in a little bit too much. Uh, let's see if we could try. Really want to be as pretty careful as we can. Just kind of slowly get it inside the shop here as well. We don't want to damage our right or uh, damage anything else here, but more than likely it's a drive motor since. Like I mentioned, guys, this happened to me about a few years ago and actually happened to my buddy who also owns a Bobcat skid, I think about a month, a month and a half ago. We're just now getting to this shop and looking at the time, guys, it should only actually take us around 45 minutes to an hour, which I will say, guys, is not too bad, especially uh, for a machine going down mid-job here as well. It looks like everybody's still out doing their projects, mowing lawns, which is a great thing to see here. But let me know down below, guys, would you join a multiplayer roleplay server? I think that would be a lot of fun here. Now, we already have the bucket at the job site, so I think we're just going to hop in the cad here as well. This should work no problem for us, and this uh, will definitely and be a pretty a great machine. I am a huge fan of this. All right, guys, we got the cat loaded on up here. Let's put a few straps here on it. Let's get on back to the job. Now, I just got off the phone with uh, the company delivering the saw. They said there will be en route probably within the next hour, which I think the timing is going to work out quite well here for us. But this was actually pretty awesome, though. We were able to get us a skid and up and running within an hour. I will have to say, guys, we are definitely pretty good at problem solving here. And sometimes things break. And uh, I was actually looking to sell that machine, so maybe it was a good thing it broke and then uh, we fix it and hopefully when we sell it uh, the new owner won't have any problems with fall approaching guys we are definitely gonna have a pretty busy schedule here with the landscaping business lots and lots of jobs we are trying to get done before winter and then the plows are going to go on because we have a lot of plowing counts which i am pretty excited for but oh look guys looks like uh fall harvest has not begun yet here now i do plan uh to start a brand new farming series in the new farm so i think that's probably what we're going to do then here but we're actually right around the corner from the job so I guess, guys, we're just going to hop back on the skid, get back to spreading some tops. So just like what we were doing, but with a totally different skid, hopefully we don't have any breakdowns here as well. But I will say, guys, I really do like this uh, Caterpillar here. It is a pretty uh, sweet one. One of my favorites. I actually remember this all the way back in FS. I believe it was 17 as well, but the controls are a little bit different. Uh, switching between skids all the time, you definitely kind of get used to that, which I don't think is going to be too uh, big of a problem here for us. But it's so awesome though, sometimes it kind of all works out in the end and I think it did here today. So I'm going to get to spreading this topsoil. We do have the other side to do and then it, we only have to put down sod. Now sometimes uh, people put uh, seed but this customer was willing to pay the extra money uh, to just uh, have sod installed. Well, guys, we got to work pretty quickly here. We got this side uh, done here. We do have a little bit more here. We should have just enough to do the other side here, which is a pretty awesome thing here. I will say, already putting about a half hour on the cat, I really do like this here. Now, I would also like a few more wheeled skid loaders here. Just having that variety, I think, is a pretty good thing. But for dirt work, I think tracks is probably the way to go. And I do believe tracks is even better in the snow if we just put the snow tracks on, which I am going to be ordering here uh, pretty soon here. But I'm going to set the camera in tripod. I think that would be a pretty neat thing to uh, kind of showcase once again.
Well guys, I just finished spreading all the topsoil here. I did a little bit of hand raking right along the house, but we are ready for a sod here, and I think the truck should be here any minute. A few hours later guys, all the sod is installed here. That's probably one of the best things about the sod. You could go from dirt uh, to a nice green lawn within only a few hours here. I do have a little bit of cleanup to do along the edges, but oh boy guys, this is ready to go here. So I believe the house is already sold. Someone's going to be moving in any day now and they are going to have a great uh, green grass here. Now one thing they should probably put down a little bit of fertilizer and uh, keep it watered to make sure it doesn't dry out here. But I'm going to get the cat loaded up and I'm going to head back to the shop here but today was a bit fun although a uh, easy job kind of went south having a skid uh, breakdown on us we were able to problem solve and still get the job done the same day so until next time guys thanks for watching uh, stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more